second reception room. The stairs storage. Outside into the garden. Bathroom, which is downstairs. Now we'll go upstairs, and I'm sure this is where the fun is. So guys, this is the master bedroom. A couple of damp patches on the walls that we need to sort out. I think it's had a leak, but obviously it's had a new roof done. This is the corridor through. Now we're into the second bedroom. It's got a massive window and Great feature that you want in any house. Massive damp patch. Lovely. Yeah, now this house suffered, it had a massive leak. Now the house has had a brand new roof on it, so that issue should be solved. So we just, it's a case of we'll get someone to just check that over, make sure that it's all okay, and then just refix that ceiling and redecorate. The single room, the back. Yeah, so a lot to do on this one, guys. Right, guys, so final thoughts on the property. I think I was being extremely optimistic while I was walking through there. The property, it is a mess. Yeah, there's a lot that we need to do on this property. Yeah, so quick background on this property. This was the property that I purchased probably around 15 or so years back. It cost me 75K, I believe, to purchase that property. So it's a three bed, terraced townhouse. The bathroom is downstairs. You've got three beds upstairs. You've got two double rooms and one single room. And yeah, it's been on a long-term let on and off over the years. And yeah, to say it, it has been pretty much neglected. I think rents on it have not put up for God knows how long. It's just been whatever rent it was rented out X amount of years ago. Yeah, so there'll be a lot to do on this property so the refurb and everything I'll take you through that that's coming real soon so new roof which estimated about six and a half grand for that one completely new kitchen because as you can see it just needs gutting out new what new kitchen fitted so I'm estimating about 2k for that I think approximately completely new bathroom suite probably about 800 pounds for this I'm gonna leave the tiling in because the tiling's quite nice and you've got that nice big feature mirror on the side so that can all stay but yeah the, the actual bathroom suites is in the toilet the sink and the bath hopefully and the shower the shower door as well that all needs replacing so about 800 pounds for that for that bathroom suite new carpets it will need yeah probably new carpets throughout if i'm going to try and see if i can give them a bit of a clean get a you know professional carpet clean to come in and see if we can get those done but there's a couple of carpets that are quite frayed so yeah the carpets are quite frayed where you've got the transition strips so I'm just thinking instead of bit bopping and you know choosing that carpet and the other carpet maybe just completely replace all of the carpets so that I know when it comes to my next round of maintenance all the carpets will need doing again so it's just a bit of forecasting on the maintenance yeah so for the cost of just replacing all of the carpets and then I know all the carpets are all being replaced at the same time and one carpet is going to wear out faster than the other because I've just bit bobbed and replaced the ones that only need a replacing right now it's probably going to be more cost effective if I just get all of them replaced so yeah so new carpets i'm thinking probably about maybe a thousand two hundred pounds for that new sort of vinyl non-stick vinyl probably put in the new lvt flooring that i've put in most of my other properties as well put those in the kitchen in the bathroom and just run that straight through so that maybe about 500 pounds for the for the materials and then obviously plus labor on top and then just completely new decoration and then new paintwork throughout so high gloss paint to all the doors the skirting the architraves everything like that getting you know white high gloss paint put on there and then just a whitewash on the walls throughout and that i'm estimating if i get the decorators come in that might be about 1200 pounds maybe to get that all completely redecorated and you'll just rub everything down and make sure it's all flat fill anything any of the gaps in the walls just make sure all the walls are all smooth yeah and then just repaint throughout yeah so that was pretty much going to be a total refurb just to bring it up to the same sort of decor color scheme and everything that all of my other properties are at they're at the same sort of level and then obviously rent that out again so that one yeah it's, it's looking like it's going to be almost a full refurb uh, completely with that as well also new new boiler as well i think i'm 
gonna have to put into that in that one property as well so yeah i'll try and save what i can where i can and then obviously document that here on this youtube channel so be sure to subscribe if that sounds like something that you want to see i am on a mission by the way to reach 1k subs so that i can help more people give more tips out there to all of you guys so if you are liking please like comment and subscribe and yeah, watch this video next for more more property tips and I do have a playlist on the BRRR method that, one, that I am developing you can also watch that on my channel as well thanks guys bye